Osaka now. We are at restaurant Zen. Um, this is uh, all you can eat Kobe beef. Um, in like Chinese, it's hot um, mowo, so wagyu beef. And here we have some like half an order because we kind of finished it. But you can see here there's like orders of beef here, different slices of beef. We got the harami steak here and different stuff. So we're just gonna cook this right away and we're gonna tell you how it is. It shouldn't be too long. And it's like we already have chicken over there yeah. and Gladys is putting some uh, beef right and it, now. Like, this is so fatty and it's so juicy, it just like melts in your mouth. So over here you ha we have barbecue sauce and then like some kind of sweet sauce and salt. Uh, it's a uh, vinegar, so barbecue, vinegar and salt. Okay, and I'm drinking this special water that I don't remember the name. Capricol water. Yeah, Capricol water. <laughs> and Gladys is having a tea. Oolong tea. Yeah. As you can see, it cooks really quickly. It goes really quickly. We have and more things coming. here we have more things coming. So we have some dim sum, shrimp dim sum. And that's it for now. Yeah, that's all. Thank you. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> Okay, so this is pretty much done. So you don't want to overcook it, you just want to like kind of 70% cooked. Oh, some more coming. So here are some spring rolls. Oh guys, also as you can see, we are in a very um, intimate place, Gladys and I, tonight. It's just the two of us. We're so like, romantic. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm gonna have a piece of this, uh, the Kobe beef. I'm just gonna dip it in salt so I can taste the full flavor. So glad it's so soft and juicy. It just like literally melts in your mouth like the fat. And as usual, the fatter the better. Oh, guys, just so you know, because I'm from Montreal and Gladys thought it was just common knowledge to know that it was limited time uh, in these all-you-can-eat restaurants. Well, for this restaurant, we are only allowed to be here for 90 minutes. So it's their way of making their money. But like, yeah, in Montreal, for all-you-can-eat, usually they, they don't time you. But Gladys was telling me that in Vancouver, they do time you too. Yeah. So I was They're not like sticklers about it in Vancouver, but if they have like a long lineup, then they will kick you out within that time limit. Yeah, when I mean, your time's up. But in Asia, they are very like stickler with time. They're like, you only have 15 minutes left, and then you literally have to like get out and pay in 15 minutes. Yeah, otherwise you get kicked out. <laughs> That's almost what happened to us uh, in Hong Kong when we were doing hot pot. Me, I was taking my time, and I didn't know we were time. And I was like, what? We need to leave? What the hell? <laughs> and I didn't know and I was like so surprised. No, no, so. like Lani and I were like, oh, and she's like, oh, mm -hmm. I'm like, uh, okay. And she was super surprised. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so I think it's gonna be all for tonight, guys. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.